Hey, this is Island. It's another guy with an awesome hat and a cool t-shirt. Well, today I'm going to be doing a magic reaction video, actually. So, that's something new. So, I stumbled upon um, this video uh, about Penn and Teller about Paul uh, Gardner. I seen one of his uh, videos already that blew my mind, but this one I have not seen at all. So I wanted to make a react video to it. So kind of an amateur magician wise, if you've seen some of my videos, some of them I can do some, some things I can't, but I just wanted to see if I can be fooled again, or if I can actually find out how he did the trick. And I'll tell you the results in the very end, okay? All right. One of the techniques I use to come up with solutions is what I call dream storming. Hmm. It's planting the, the problem in your head as you go to sleep and your subconscious works on it. I might use that idea, actually. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, Paul. Let's see what you got. Have before dream storming. Fool us All historians will certainly remember our next magician. Fool us virgins, let me introduce you to Paul. <laughs> well, Penn. Hold on. So it's not a card uh, trick this time. It's actually a um, ball and cup. I still don't know how to master that just yet. I haven't even tried it yet. So um, that might be one thing that I might do. And Teller, it is a pleasure to be back again on Full Us. And I'm very excited to be here this year because I get to bring my favorite magic illusion the cups and balls. Now, I know you're very familiar with this trick because you perform it. But for those in the audience that are not, let me explain. It's based on an old gambling scam known as the three shell game. Now, part of the game is that the ball is soft. It's made of sponge. Mm -hmm. And the cup is solid. It's made of brass, metal. So whenever that ball is under the cup, you can't see it. <laughs> and when the magician mixes them around, you can't hear it. And at any given time, the magician can make that ball disappear now of course well pen and teller already know the secret to this trick the secret to this mm. trick is you use an extra ball and you always hide the extra ball underneath the cup on your right so i'm going to perform the trick but i'm going to do it a little differently because i grew up in pittsburgh pennsylvania and in pittsburgh we manufacture steel. Ooh, and when I was a kid and I was steel. looking for a ball to do the trick with, I found one in my it's dad's toolbox. It was a steel ball bearing. You see, my dad was a steel worker in Pittsburgh. In fact, my favorite childhood memory of dad is the day he and I shared a drink after work together. <laughs> it happened in our kitchen. I was practicing this trick all day long. And dad came home from work, hot, tired, and thirsty. And I said, Dad, would you watch my new trick? And he says, oh, okay, okay, but first I need a drink. And he went to the refrigerator and he poured himself a cold beer. And then he set a glass in front of me and he poured me a Coke. <laughs> and once Dad and I had our refreshments, well, I got a chance to show him this trick. But I was a kid. I didn't know you were supposed to do the trick with a little sponge ball. And I put Dad's steel ball under the cup and I mixed them around and I said, Dad, where's the ball? Of course, he knew immediately. And pretty soon I figured it out that you can't fool anyone with a steel ball and a metal cup because of the element of sound, unless, unless you could cause the sound in the ball to disappear mm. and travel over here inside your pocket. What? Now, that's what it looked like the first time. I'll do that again. This time, Allison, I'll let you take a guess. If you watch the ball, take a guess. Which cup do you think I just slipped that ball under? Which one? What? Well, no, look, I'll explain, Allison. Remember, you always hide Man, the extra is. ball underneath the cup on your right. <laughs> but of course, Allison, in my book, no matter what you choose, you're a winner. You're a winner. Three cups to three balls. I'm with Alice on that one. What? Now we're ready to start the trip. Now, if you watch the ball... Right Wait, hold on. Did he just say now we're going to start the trick? The hell? Okay, Paul. Right here, whenever I give it a little push, okay, it will actually penetrate right through the top, balanced on the edge. 
I'll do that again. This time the ball will go right through the top of not one, but actually two cups like this, balanced on the edge. But I want everyone to know exactly where the balls are. So whenever I place a ball under a cup, I'll give it a little shake and you'll hear it under the cup. Okay, and here we go. Ball number one, under cup number one. Ball number two, under cup number two. And ball number three, under cup number three. And if I take two of them invisibly, and I set them on the middle, and I give them a little tap, you see now, no. these two what? are empty. Oh, hell no. Because they've all come together in the center. Thank you. Thank you. But you know, it is the end of the trick. And when I do this at trade show exhibits, this is the part that gathers the biggest crowd, so watch closely. You see, I actually take the ball out from under the cup, and I say to somebody, watch, I'll remove one ball from the game, like this. And then I put it in my pocket. And then I say, look, if I, if I remove another ball from the cup, Penn, how many would that leave underneath the center cup? One! Just one, I think. Yeah, just one. But if there's one there, you see there's another over there, and I'll show you how the trick is done. You see, I never really put the ball in the, in the hand. I never put it in the pocket. But while everyone's watching the pocket, I actually can slip the ball under the cup, and it looks like it was there all the while. But if I really get rid of it, Allison, this time take one last guess. How many balls do you think are underneath the center cup? One, two, or three? <laughs> For you, for you, Allison, I did all three. <laughs> but you know, you can't do this trick with just three balls. You need an extra one. And Allison, where did I say we always hide the extra ball? Uh, right. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Underneath the cup on the Whoa. <laughs> but there's another what? one right over there, and they're both pretty big, and they're both solid and pretty heavy, but underneath the center cup is the biggest one of all because there it is. No, that's not Whoa. the biggest one. But I can't figure out where it comes from. Thank you. <laughs> I told you this trick was inspired by my dad, which is why I can't help but think of him every time I do it. Which is why in this cup, I always keep dad's balls. <laughs> and in this cup, in honor of dad, I always keep a what? can of Coke. And, and in this cup, but remember, you always hide the extra ball underneath the cup on your right. What the hell? So, so Dad, it's an actual coke. You are. What? Here's <laughs> to you. That's that's amazing, my friend. That's amazing. That. That's amazing, Paul. Like that. That right there was just true pure magic. Like, what the hell? You know what? I don't even care about the rest of the video. I know you fooled them. I can just tell by their faces. But, damn.